Hello, I'm green. And I'm purple. Welcome back to green and purple. We're back playing Jack and Daxter. Yeah, that's the thingy. <laughs> Got the dick, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I guess she may so. come in handy again sometime. Now go back to the trans pad and I'll bring her home. Oh, because I, I don't think I think the whole point of like the path around is because you have to take that one on foot because you can only talk to the guy whenever you're on foot. Mm. But this like, well, I guess that also makes sense because this is like. Oh God. Oh God. I thought the game was glitching for a second. <laughs> because you also like. I forgot. Couldn't walk through it. Can't walk in the black stuff. Huh? If you hadn't done the side mission with the bird egg earlier, I don't think you could even do that right. mission. No! Ow. Purple frog OP. Really though. Uh, so what, what, what games have you been playing lately, Caleb? Uh, right now I'm on uh, Operation Babble. That's the dungeon crawler That's the dungeon crawler? Yeah. And I'm liking it. It's really cool. Um, it was suggested by a friend, and... So I, is it like a first-person dungeon crawler? Yeah, yeah, or, yeah. Like, old Persona stuff? Yes? Like, Persona 1 is yes. first-person dungeon. Yeah. Persona 2 is third-person, like, Right, okay. Series. Yeah, no, it's, uh, first-person, the, yeah. So, it's interesting, because, uh, I play a lot of dungeon crawlers, but I've never played, like, a bad one, and I think it's mm -hmm. probably just because I, I know where to look. Right. Um, because I'm pretty sure there are, there are bad ones out there. Oh, I'm sure. Hiya, friends. Enjoying my beautiful swamp? I own these here parts. Everything that doesn't sink into the mud, that is. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> like my dick. <laughs> the dick? <laughs> His wife comes pondering out. What? <laughs> anyway, I got bigger problems now. Seems some nasty lurker varmints are grousing about, snatching everything they can get their grubby little paws on. Uh huh. And scaring away my pet hip hog, Parley. I, mean, I think this is a. Uh, like an escort mission type. Uh, how, how are those just there? Shut up, kid. Nobody will smell them vitals and come back. Will you help me out? Please! Good. Oh, it's another Those mini game. All the mini games in this game are hard. At least with this one, you only have to Get save him. one of them. Oh, yeah, and you can't aim up or down in this one. You have to just keep. Um, but, uh, I'm, I'm liking it so far just because, uh, I play a lot of. Uh, dungeon crawlers, but every single one that I play feels, even though it's like the same type of game, mm -hmm. uh, it feels different, just the mechanics and how it works and such. Right. Which is weird because uh, Operation Babel, I'm pretty sure it was made by the same people that did Demon Gaze, which oh. is another dungeon crawler, but the two games still feel completely different. Well, I feel like being a, like, I wouldn't consider dungeon crawlers to be like an extremely popular genre nowadays, in the sense that like, when a new one... Oh, you can't have me eat even one. I forgot. I thought it was like you only had to keep one left. Uh, no, that would make it too easy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that would just be a normal game, mini game if it was bad. <laughs> uh, but it's like, if you're gonna make one now, you'd better do something to, like, differentiate it, yes, you know? Yes, yes. It's not like first-person shooters where it's, like, they're so popular you can make practically any first-person shooter and someone will buy it. Although they are starting to get to the point where it's, like, I feel like the market's kind of getting saturated with them. Where you have, like, the last Call of Duty, I don't think, did nearly as well mm. as the ones before it. And it's just because, like, people are finally, like, starting to get sick of just the same old first-person shooters over and over again. Because I don't dislike first-person shooters. It's just, I dislike the it? ones that are the same, you oh, know? Oh, no. Yes. I guess so. Like, I like Bioshock. Because Bioshock's a lot different from most first-person shooters, but... I don't like Call of Duty because it seems just 
This isn't going to go well. You're going to eat one of them? He's going to... I... Look, it even <laughs> shot him. <laughs> I hate him. It's funny how you have, like, genres that seem, like, really big for a time, and then they just kind of, like, completely go away. Oh, yeah. Like, you have, like, mascot platformers. That was, like, the type of game in, like, Nintendo and Super Nintendo get days. Like, you had Sonic and Mario and Bug, Bubsy, and you had... Taya, Tasmanian Tiger, and Klonoa, and like, you know, just, that was the type of game to make. This isn't gonna go well. But now, you hardly see any of them. And, honestly, the last one I can remember was, uh, Ukulele, which didn't do very well, if I remember. Well, I don't know how it did financially, I just know that the views for it were a little mixed. Yeah. You had my number nine. Did you see how it also went wrong again recently? How so? Well, because uh, one of the things that oh, was God. Like one of the, like, Kickstarter uh, prizes or backing rewards or whatever... Yeah. Uh, ...was that you got a box for it, right? Yeah. It wasn't a box copy, but you got a box for the game and a color instruction manual that you could, like, put on your shelf or whatever, right? Oh, no. I don't like what and, this is like, going. It just shipped earlier this year. The game came out last year, and they just finally shipped the boxes recently. And, uh... I did it. Uh... The boxes themselves were fine, right? Yes. But the instruction manuals weren't in color. They were just black and white grayscale. And they were too big to fit in the box. They stuck out of the box. And the box didn't even come assembled. You had to assemble it yourself. And you got it all assembled. And then you realized the instruction manual didn't fit in the box. Oh. I was like, good job, guys. You did it. Don't make another game. <laughs> well, and remember they like had a Kickstarter up for another game like while that one was still in development? Yes, I remember They that. Like, tried to get another one. And like that game, my number nine had already been uh, delayed, I don't know how many times. And then it was like, you want to help us make this other game? It's like, how about you finish the one we already helped you make? But you want to help us make that again? Stop! Oh, we have a juice. No. Yes. I curse you, I curse you. <laughs> no, Grimbo, no curses. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's definitely dead. John's dead. I mean, it has been a while. Because he's dead. <laughs> How many more scout flags do we need? Is that the last one? Yep. There you go. Answer my question. Own question. Good job. Proud of you. Robot. I have a feeling we're gonna have to like, kind of like backtrack through some of this area because I'm pretty sure I like walked by some stuff. You're so bad. I'm just Thank kidding. You. I'm just kidding. You're doing great. I hate you. Oh. <laughs> I hate you and all you stand for. Well, I'm sitting down, so that's not much. <laughs> that's what I do. That's what we do now. Whenever someone makes a stupid joke, you just <laughs> <laughs> you respond to a stupid joke with a stupid noise. It makes perfect stupid sense. Yep. So, were the lurkers affected by Dark Eco? No, no, I didn't think so. I said that like some guys like, oh yeah, that's what I thought. I just, like, <laughs> just want oh. a second opinion. Power. Don't you love those people where it's like they ask a question and then a meteor like, okay, that's what I thought. I just wanted, yeah, wanted to check with you. Yep. It's like okay, sure. sure. You could have just said you didn't know. I, just, I wouldn't think any less of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. There's one of those things you have to destroy. Yeah. These weirdly all these like pencil mushrooms. Well, these are actual like precursor technology stuff. Oh. I think sticking out of the swamp. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, there's one more orb up there. I gotta get it. That's a barely hanging on. Let's find the last tether. 
Oh, there's only one more? It looks like there's more than one. Eh, potato, potato. Eh, mine. Eh. I did it. What time are we looking at, Caleb? 10 minutes and 21 seconds. Okay, I'll we'll go a little longer. I'll go. I gave you some more of that, that good stuff. <laughs> you think Jack's just like a like a uh, eco junkie? Ego. Yeah, oh yeah, it's definitely. Like, it's like the blue eco. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make this a, like a Mario thing. Yeah. <laughs> that joke is so fresh, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> no one has ever made the Mario is addicted to shrooms joke ever. Do you remember, uh, do you remember, it was one of the Dead or Alive games that came out, uh, for, Beach Volleyball? Well, no, it was one of the actual I still need to get that. It was one of the actual Dead or Alive games, right? Mm, yeah. And, uh, it came out on PC, which was kind of, uh, unheard of for the series. Yes. And then, like, the creator of the game said that if there were any nude, like, nude mods released for the game... He was never going to release another game on PC. So, of course, immediately there was new oh, yeah. release for it. <laughs> of course. So, because basically any time you tell the internet not to do something... They're going to do it. That's like the first thing that they're going to do. <laughs> Ow. Where did he even come <laughs> from? He just sniped you. <laughs> he came out of the air. <laughs> oh. We only need one more. Here, let's go try and find that last tether. I think it's that one weird thing that we couldn't figure out how to get to. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. In the ballerina. Yeah. Kind of like you said ballerina. Oh, ballerina. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah. Not the ballerina. The battle arena, though. Mm-hmm. This is, this is not my day. No? I told you, I'm out of practice. You know, I think... I've been reading like a square. <laughs> I don't think that has any connection. Oh yeah, <laughs> me, me reading. I don't think that. <laughs> Cause like you start reading, you stop being cool. I read. <laughs> well, I'm gonna call for my lavender. Your lavender. My lavender. Hello. Hello. Oh. Um, it's in the breaker, and you you basically just go in the garage, go to the breaker. And you check and see if any of the switches are in the middle, and then you like flip them one way and then the back the other way. Did the power, power go out? Apparently, the power went out. I oh, know. Yeah, if anyone's any ones that are in the middle, those are the ones that you need to flip back and forth. Oh, then that's something else, then. It's not... That's just... That's like, uh, that, the one the storm hit, and it just knocked all the power out. No problem. You're on the show. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that or not. Love you. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> not the, even in her house. I did the thing. <laughs> Good job. get those things, though. Uh... What were we talking about? Oh, you're so rudely interrupted. I was gonna say how I feel like, for some reason, at my job, some people think I'm a woman. Some people think you're a woman? Yes. What, people come out and like, excuse me, ma'am? Is that what mm -hmm. people do? Yeah, or one time I was helping this one guest customer. Uh -huh. I was helping this one customer, and uh, one of my team members came up and like asked if they were being helped, and then I think it was... I think it was a she... Um, uh, she said, like, oh, no, she's already helping me. And I was the one that was helping her. Yeah? <laughs> you don't look like a girl, or at least I don't think so. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. Well, you do... You have a transgender teammate in your, uh, area, right? Correct. Maybe the people just, like, know that and, like, think you are? No, this was before oh, she this was, was there. Oh, before? Yeah. Huh. Hmm. And also, like, one time I went to Sonic, and, like, I placed an order, and when I was done with the, my order, the guy was like, um, your total will be, like, 784, ma'am. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. uh, what? <laughs> so apparently I just sound and look feminine. Alright, then. 
I guess I just can't see it. I can't see it either, <laughs> and I'm me. <laughs> okay, look, so uh, whenever we we got everything we need to get here. Got shocked, yep. Oh well, I needed to go back to the beginning. Anyway. Whenever we oh. <laughs> stop not, moving, it's not my day. <laughs> stop moving. Uh, whenever we come back, we'll be going to fight the the boss, and we'll go in. We'll be going to like the final like hub type area. Sweet. Like uh like Rock Village is this hub area and before that it was a uh, one village Sandover Village. We'll be going to the final hub area and uh You're then gonna to die. The, the game. Cause uh how many precursor or powers are Yeah, so we're basically two thirds of the way through the game now. And uh okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here before I die again. Can a person actually do that? What? A little roll tuck jump like that? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think they teach that in the military. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, man! You're gonna go into a somersault and then vault forward! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you need, like, impressive... Maybe if you had, like, ridiculous core strength, yeah. maybe you could do it. Like, if you were able to, like, push your body forward. But then again, I don't feel like... I don't know. I know I can't it does, do it. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I can't even do a somersault. So <laughs> I think that's part of the problem right there. Oh, I didn't want to do this yet. Good job. I'll just let the cutscene play and then we'll stop. Because I don't want to fight him right now. Who is he? Is he a punk? And you know what? We'll try. Okay, we'll try it one time. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that was it. That was the try. <laughs> Bye, everybody. See ya. <laughs>